All right, all right, all right. You've probably just come from the first video for the My First Car, uh, where we're working on the main body of the My First Car, which fits into this area here, and looks something like that. So this is the point where you should be at now. If you're not at this point, make sure that you are, um, and then come back to this video. So to start off with, we're moving on from doing the body of the My First Car to working on the CO2 canister housing, as you can see in these drawings here. We're also going to be putting a fillet on, which you can see in this drawing here. So as you can see, we've got the overall canister housing and a CO2 canister hole in the back of it that we need to produce now. To go ahead and do that, what we're going to start off with is creating a new sketch, um, which is on the same plane that we worked from for the back of the car when we did that first sketch. So I'm going to create a new sketch on that same plane. Now working from my origin point again as usual, I'm going to start by drawing a half of this CO2 canister housing. Now it has to be half because what we're going to be using is a revolve tool to create this housing. So to start off with, I'm going to go for my line tool like I have done so far in other parts. I'm going to select my origin point, go up a distance, doesn't really matter too much at this point, out a distance, and then I'm going to open that tool again and come back out from the origin point to the, the bottom line here. And there we go. So that's first three lines we need. So this line through the middle here, this one up the back, and this one across the top. Next, I'm going to dimension those lines. So in the sketch palette, I can look down to the bottom here for sketch dimension, or I can hit D on the keyboard, type that dimension in. So 100 for the bottom one here. One at the back here is 12.5 millimeters, which is obviously the radius of our CO2 canister housing. And the top one here, 55 millimeters. All right, that's that top straight line there. Next, we need to add in this radius at the front here, which is a three millimeter radius. Now, the reason we do this first before we add on this curve is because if we did it afterwards, it makes it quite a lot more difficult to do this curve and to actually put this little radius in. Um, it's much more challenging. So if we do it um, the opposite way around, we get a, a nicer result and it's much easier for us to achieve. All right, so I'm going to the sketch palette and selecting the arc tool, arc tool, and picking the center point arc. All right, so I come down to my line and select just back from the end of the line here. It doesn't really matter where I pick at this point. Clicking the end and coming up like that. And you can see it is a blue line. I haven't dimensioned it yet. It isn't constrained. So I'll need to do that before I go any further. So I'm going to hit the D key on the keyboard, select the line, and I'm going to make the radius of three millimeters like we talked about. Now, in order to do the arc, like we did before, we're going to select the line tool, right? This is just a tangent arc from this point here to the end of our radius. So I'm going to click and hold at the straight line end, bring it down, and attach it onto that arc. And we're looking almost correct here. Obviously, we've got that tangent constraint up the top there, which is constraining those two together. And of course, there'd be a coincidence constraint between them as well. Down this end, we only have the coincidence at this point, no tangent, so we'll need to add that in. All right, so from your keyboard, we're going to click on that top line, hold control, click on the second arc, right click on the first one, and come down to tangent in that menu there, which will constrain those together. All right, so that's our first sketch. You can see it's fully constrained now because all our lines are black, and we're ready to revolve that. In order to do our revolve, come up to the create. Create palette, select the revolve tool, select that sketch, and we need to then come over to the little tool palette here, select axis, and we're going to select the red axis here. All right, and you can see that's revolving around. Yours might firstly come up with uh, 360 degrees, you'll need to change that to 180. So we're only going halfway in this case. The other important point to make here is that we only want, we don't want to make a cut operation, which would cut a little dent that you can see there into the body. We want to join it to the body. So I'll select the join operation there. You can see there it's all revolved around 180 degrees and it's going to join into the body. And I'm going to click OK. So there we go. We've got the main part of our canister housing that you can see there. Now we haven't put the hole into the CO2 canister yet. Um, now this is a fairly straightforward task, not too difficult at all. So we're just going to rotate our view around to the back of the car. 
and I'm going to come up to the modify palette. Sorry, not the modify palette. It's under the create palette. We're going to select whole. Now we're going to select the face we want it on, which is this one here. We've got it at the center point there. We're going to give it a depth and a diameter, which is just in this uh, tool palette here, which tells us what we need to do. So depth of 52 millimeters, which is shown on this drawing here. Uh, with a diameter of 19 millimeters. Now that enables us to put the can CO2 canister in the back nice and neatly. All right, we want it to go that specific distance. There's one more thing we need to change. We need to change the tip angle here to 180 degrees. That gives us a flat bottomed hole. And when we're happy to do that, I'll just change my view here so you can have a little view of that's what we're essentially achieving right now. Um, we'll click OK. And there we go, we've got that canister hole cut, just as we need to. So that's everything from this page of the drawing. We're now going to move on to the next page. All right, so moving on here, we can see that we have the fillet that we need to add in. Now that fillet, and I'll just zoom out on the drawing here, is a three millimeter fillet that joins the CO2 canister housing to the main body. So I'll just change my view to that one that's been shown here. I'm going to go to my Modify Tool Palette, select the Fillet Tool. I'm get, going to need to select the edge that we're doing it on. So I'll just pick that edge there, easy peasy. And I'll change my radius there of my Fillet to 3 millimeters, as it says on the instructions, and click OK. And there we go, we've filleted our CO2 canister housing to the body there. And that's our CO2 canister housing done. So we've got the hole in the back of it there, and it's all filleted to the body. So well done if you've got this far. Time to move on to the next video. Thanks for watching.